I'll be back. Notice the car headlights are on one second and then off in the next shot. Also, you're not supposed to fill out police paperwork in your pencil. So you're telling me that we're only five years away from AI killer robots destroying humanity? Actually, that sounds about right. This is actually amazing special effects for a 1980s movie on a shoestring budget. And by the way, before all the diehard fans get pissed at me for making fun of their favorite movie, I'm a huge fan of the first two Terminator movies and James Cameron in general. And this is just a stupid video that I made pointing out all the random things I've noticed after repeated viewings. Hey, my turn. Rest in peace, Bill Paxton. Yo! Stop your grinning and drop your linen. I would have cast a bigger actor closer to Arnold's size. Skynet was smart enough not to send the T-800 back in time during the skinny jeans era. Look at those redwoods. I would have loved to see him run around during the saggy jeans era. Personally, I would rather run around naked than wear those nasty, shark-stained pants. And why are the cops even chasing him? Ellie in the 80s was a nightmare. They have better things to do than to chase another half-naked crackhead in an alley. That was easy. That was easy. Hey Reese, FYI, there are all kinds of pants that you could also grab as well. I'm pretty sure those shotguns are locked down. Also, you're not going to take any ammo? It's amazing. Downtown LA in 1984 looks exactly like it does today, except with a lot fewer zombies. I might be wrong, but in a city of 8 million residents, I think there'd be more than three Sarah Connors. Oh really? It's that easy to steal a car without any tools? In a viral TikTok video- Oh, never mind. No way a kid would waste his ice cream to prank a waitress. Uzi I was gonna say something about being able to buy a fully automatic Uzi in California in the 80s, but it might actually have been legal back then. I'm not sure about keeping shotgun shells on the counter though. But riddle me this. Why was he asking for a phased plasma rifle in the 40 watt range? If Skynet had archived all of the world's information before Judgment Day in 1997, surely it had records on the history of firearm development and knew that they didn't exist in 1984. You can't do that. That's not cool, man. Where did he get that hacksaw and shirt? Skynet should have upgraded the T-800's optical tracking sensor because it needs to use its finger here. And Skynet didn't archive all of the publicly available white page listings before 1997? Ah, the good old days in California when you could leave your dog outside and they wouldn't get dog napped for a ransom. Sarah Connor? I think 99% of people in this situation would be running their asses off instead of watching a dude slowly aim a gun at their foreheads. Also, why does it sound like his gun has a suppressor on it? It appears the T-1000 model got a software upgrade because it doesn't flinch like the T-800 series every time it fires a gun. For some reason, Skynet has problems tracking targets and shooting accurately. In reality, humanity would be wiped out in a week because Skynet would be using drones with night vision, thermal imaging, laser rangefinders, auto tracking, and AI-assisted aiming. Also, you'd be better off running on foot instead of getting into a car with floodlights. And how are you able to drive over all this wreckage? T-shirt foreshadowing. A one-day pattern killer. Why do you assume it's one day? And they're called serial killers, which LA cops were well aware of by the 1980s. Man, you gotta love the 80s with the big hair when everyone smoked indoors and no one wore helmets or seatbelts. Also, Matt would be in serious trouble for that unwanted kiss. 35-year-old Sarah Ann Connor was pronounced dead at the scene. Look at this asshole. Could you be any creepier? Okay, Reese, use your recon skills and keep your distance and don't let her spot you since you look like a psycho flasher in a trench coat and pants that you stole from a hobo. You're a Psycho. Mary, honey, he's a psycho. Hey, where's the bouncer? Check out this dude's fit. Pro tip, you don't need to insert coins to call 911 in case you ever see a payphone anywhere and are being stalked by a Terminator from the future. Hmm, it seems that the emergency services response time hasn't changed since 1984. If a serial killer is trying to murder you, please press 1 and an agent will call you back in Two hours. I don't understand why the Terminator waited so long to track down the third Sarah Connor. Oh wait, I forgot about LA traffic. I've always wondered if the Terminator waited for these cops to leave or he just happened to show up right when they left. Whoa, that's impressive. Matt is able to blast a double leg takedown on a 500 pound Terminator and lift him up. Fortunately, we know Slider survived because two years later he becomes Iceman's wingman. Terrible timing. How did he get there so fast? 
The same song is still playing when she called the apartment. Great timing. This guy might be my favorite. This movie should have won an Oscar for best costume design just for the scene. I guess everyone named Sarah Connor just sits there and lets people slowly aim a gun at their foreheads instead of running. Whoa, you knocked back a 500 pound Terminator with a 12 gauge shotgun? Or maybe he got his hands on a phased plasma rifle. I like how he also stole the punk's gloves too. So the Terminator doesn't bother grabbing his pistol or Uzi? You could have had it right there. So all units are now after a hit and run driver instead of heading to Tech Noir after a mass shooting? I feel like Reese is taking a lot of unnecessary risks with the mother of John Connor. You'd be able to evade detection better if you weren't drawing attention to yourself by driving like a maniac on the sidewalk with your headlights off. Don't move unless I say. Don't make a sound unless I say. And he could use some soft skills training to build trust instead of all this anger yelling. Do you understand? Do you understand? It's amazing how much more sinister someone looks without eyebrows. Part man, part machine. Hair, blood, grown for the cyborgs. Technically, it's an android, but whatever. I guess the cops are going to block off all the exits, right? Actually, I think you'd be better off escaping on foot. It was a nuclear war. Hey guys, you need to focus on getting the hell out of there. Can you save the exposition for later? Network computers. Note to AI programmers. Please don't forget to program Skynet with a human extermination failsafe. Where did you get all those shotgun shells from? Why aren't any of these cops searching inside the cars on foot? And how come none of them are like, hey, Who's that meathead without eyebrows driving Randy's cruiser? The 800 series is apparently terrible at multitasking and didn't notice it was driving into a wall. Cancel further assistance? What about the other suspect that shot up Tech Noir with an Uzi? And this doesn't make any sense to me. Why did he run away? He had Sarah trapped and could have accomplished his only mission right there and then. Was he worried about being arrested? In California, he'd be out the next day anyway. And none of the cops notice a hulking man limping away? I never understood why these have quote marks around them. Are they supposed to be ironic? I wish they showed him checking into the motel and running errands like buying those tools and sunglasses. Did he buy them at the mall or did he try them on at the sunglasses hut and then blow away the salesperson? Either way, I'd like to see those deleted scenes. Ooh, they're probably going to charge you for that towel. For a tiny 1980s movie budget, these special effects are actually pretty solid. Hey, where'd you get that rifle and leather jacket from? The lieutenant was like, Okay officers, we got a 6'2 muscular punk rock serial killer that shot up Tech Noir and it's all over the news. He was after our victim, Sarah Connor, who we're protecting in the station, so everyone stay alert for any suspicious characters. I'm a friend of Sarah Connor. I was told that she's here. Could I see her please? No. I wanna wait. There's a bench over there. I'll be back. Yeah, he came back. The only weak link in this movie is the sound effect guy. This shotgun sounds like machine gun fire. And this guy's still on the phone after the car crash and shooting? I'm pretty sure a power outage would not cause all those lights to burst like that. Whoa, he just knocked that cop out by kneeing him in the chest. Where's all that body armor that you were just showing off? The Terminator should have just imitated Reese's voice. Hey Reese, there's all kinds of free weapons you could be grabbing, FYI. What a gentleman. I assume he's going to give her his jacket. Oh my god. You mean you got shot? That's not bad. Okay, forget it. No big deal. Just an AR round that went through my arm, but it's not bleeding or anything. Just a flesh wound. Your son gave me a message to give to you. Thank you, Sarah, for your So courage. John Connor called his mom by her first name? I think those lights are giving away your position, including the one at your secret entrance. And it's really not a good idea to have fires burning in an enclosed basement. For years, I didn't notice that this Terminator was the late Franco Colombo, Arnold's former training partner in BFF. I don't know about these security protocols. Why are you letting them inside before checking them out? You can't have a checkpoint outside the door? You've got laser guns but no metal detectors? Or you could just check them for a red eye. With their eyes as red as the devil's dick, you're busted! So now that there's a massive manhunt for him, he forgets about the window and doesn't even bother hiding his machine gun. The Terminator don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. But I'm sure he'll travel more discreetly and definitely not on a motorcycle while holding an assault rifle. I'm dying for a shower. 
Actually, Reese, you could use a shower too, since you haven't showered once in 1984 and have been running around with hobo swamp ass. The best thing you could do to save the future of humanity is to take a shower and to get some new pants, because otherwise, John Connor might not get born, if you know what I mean. I love you too, sweetheart. I like how he can imitate any person's voice perfectly just from hearing a few words. What does Sarah's mom say to him exactly? Hello? Who are you? Oh my god, no! Nice night for a walk. And the Keep Terminator close. could blend in more if he didn't select the Keep Conan the, the Barbarian thick Austrian accent option. I love you too, sweetheart. Hmm, that's weird. My mom has never told me she loves me before. Uh, that's all you got, Reese? You could have picked up some Pringles or something. And maybe some khakis from Old Navy. Screw that cap on. Very gently. One hour later. Did that dog also come back from the future? I feel like a real Terminator would acquire a target first instead of the old spray and pray. That must be a souped up pickup if that motorcycle can't catch up with it. I hope future Terminator software updates include the capability to shoot out car tires. So you're telling me this 18-wheeler was driving at 60 miles an hour on a well-lit bridge towards an overturned pickup and wrecked out motorcycle and man in the road and didn't even slow down to rubberneck? You know I got warrants, Billy Bob. I can't go back to prison. Just drive, man. Just drive. Come on. Come on. Say what you will about Reese, but this guy can rally like no one. He goes from unconscious to running in two seconds flat. There's no way he'd have time to pull out his bomb and light the fuse that quickly. Damn, Sarah Connor has some wheels if she can outrun that truck. Oh, thank God it's over. He's dead, just like Jason in Halloween, so we can all breathe a sigh of relief. Why won't you die? Cover! So he can't track us! Just leave him, Sarah. He's unconscious. There's no way he'll be able to... Oh, this guy's good. I can rally. I will rally. I guess the Terminator doesn't know how to turn off machinery. Game over, man! It's game over! Why won't you die? You're terminated, I'm pretty sure she would be electrocuted. They obviously had to reshoot these scenes with this kid because they used two different kids. A younger boy and an older, taller, skinnier one. 